Hey everyone, welcome back to Design Breakdown, where I bring to you the latest and greatest design trend, and I also give you the perfect resources, plugins, etc., to get started with recreating those design trends. Today we have five very interesting design trends being used by some of your favorite apps, websites, and whatnot. Some of these were unexpected and came out of the blue, so let's check them out. The first one is glowing border interaction. And I can see these on almost all the websites I go to nowadays. You can find grids, cards, etc. all laid out with this nice little glowing animation. The glowing animations tend to hold users at a certain section or a, an area of an app. Oftentimes working very well with large cards or tall cards, which is again another design trend. You might ask yourself, now this is cool for web, but even in mobile, there is a tiny solution for this. With the gyroscope in the mobile, you can actually tilt your mobile and certain cards might move almost like a parallax effect with again this glowing border animation or an overall 3D animation. It creates for a very unique interesting artifact, adds a little bit of flair or interaction to your websites and apps. Now there are a few very good resources to either learn how to use this trend or to actually utilize this. The first one is Pro2 Cursor Tracking make this a little bit if you hover over this see how this very gently goes from one place to another i mean something like this can be done in figma natively without any plugins without any third party websites this is right here in figma and you can just copy paste it he also has a similar effect in the parallax version which you can check out from his page right here but once again very good resource for figma if you want something which is either coded out or for no code websites this webflow example right here is perfect as you can see this works really nice alongside a grid so if you have a set of cards on a grid this can have the both this has a really nice subtle animation to it and of course you can extract the code from this website or from or you utilize this in webflow or your favorite no code tools go ahead check this out i think this is very interesting so the next trend is called geolocation based or geo tracking based designs and these designs are based on where you live what weather conditions are there, whether there's a certain event going around your city. It could be the phenomenon of a lot of people getting married at a time. In November, December months, in India, a lot of weddings take place. So the top grocery apps, what they're doing is they're introducing a wedding section just for this purpose. And they're calling it a new section or a new feature. So you can actually shop for wedding based products or wedding based sections are shown here the design also changes so you can see the theme changing all across the app for the wedding section in itself which i think is very powerful because you feel like you can shop for anything wedding related on their app and this also goes for weather if it's raining the interface might change up to show that it's raining to drive empathy for drivers who are delivering the products or to even sell particular products related. And this is a very unique aspect of user experience, which is personalization. We've already spoken about this in one of the previous episodes of Design Breakdown. But this is so cool because a lot of e-commerce websites are now implementing this. And I think you should too. Also, this next design trend is becoming very prevalent in a lot of applications these days. Now, there's not a name for this one. I'm calling it smooth background gradient or trailing background gradient. You can call it whatever you want. Let's name this bugger once and for all. A lot of these apps now have this interface where a gradient flows in the background all throughout. Dot is a very good example, which is an AI based chatting service where you can chat with an AI and it kind of helps you with a lot of things in your life. Again, with a gray to this almost pink background goes with the theme and the branding. There is of course for the ladies, the most popular period tracking application called Flow. My fiance uses this, so I know a lot about this by now. It uses gradients all throughout its application. Whether it is to highlight a hero section or a, or a header, or just different pages, different times of your flow cycle, it can determine based it can change the colors of the gradients and some companies just go all out and play with these gradients. Arc browser, which is a popular browser for mobile and web, taking advantage of gradients at different levels. 
gradients for page backgrounds, gradients to depict AI, gradients to depict loading from top to bottom. A very interesting way of using these continuous gradients all throughout certain important pages or actions. And it uses gradients to depict their AI as well. So if the AI pops up, a gradient pops up as well all over the place. Again, AI is always being depicted by gradients. I know it's becoming old, but now it's the norm, I guess. All right, everything is coming full circle today. The next one is combining border gradients or border effects with this flowing continuous gradient. Rather than having an interactive gradient, it's an added way of highlighting a card or highlighting a section or an element throughout. This can be very effective to portray a live hover rather than a hover being a dead hover where it just moves in and the state changes and it just stays there. It's now being depicted by this nice little border running all throughout. Once again, animated for that added alive effect. There are a bunch of other websites using it for borders, using it for buttons, using it for using it to highlight a section, etc. You can just copy this effect from one such is this CSS Glow border animation. Someone created this. It's amazing. It's very clean code. It's very simple. Just a few lines of code, actually. And it's pretty good. You can copy this, copy and paste this into any coded up project and it'll be, look really nice. I also have one or two other tutorials created by some fantastic people for no code tools, Figma, etc. all in the description as you guys know it. Last but not the least is animations in app animations. What do I even mean by that? Now, if you've ever used iOS or Android or any other operating system out there, every operating system or variation of an operating system has certain animations. So on your mobile, you can open an app and there's a certain animation to open that app. If you go to a particular, say, album, so as to say, it opens up as if a new app is opening up, almost inside the application, rather than just a simple navigation from one page to the other. It all, Whenever you're closing, you can do a back gesture and it closes the entire page into this little card instead of actually just going back to the previous page. It almost feels as if there's an operating system inside another operating system. Everything is seamless across the apps. Similarly, you'll find the same effects in the gallery app. So again, the effects, if you highlight, say, a photo or anything like that, it does bring preview like an app menu rather than a default menu from the app. It The interactions seem the exact same as if you were using it inside the operating system. This makes for a very consistent sort of experience all throughout your phones. Really, really nice for this is a very interesting development. All new design trends are not extremely popular or everywhere in the world. They can also be coming up like this design trend is coming up. So take a look at this. Maybe the app animations, maybe the in-app animations can now have that feel or that consistent feeling, especially if you're developing for a certain operating system. That'll be really interesting to see. All right, guys, those were the five new UX UI trends that I've, I've seen pop up in the past few months. Go check out all the other episodes of Design Breakdown where I break down other UX design trends and showcase resources to you as well. If you want to see design videos every week, subscribing to the channel is the best way to do that. And also, and also leaving a like goes a long way. It's the best support you guys can show. And the comment section is always open for your opinions, for your the own design trends that you might have seen. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, take care. God bless.